Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Casa Che. As you guys can tell, there have definitely been some upgrades that have been made, not only to the space, but obviously to the hair color. Shout out to my roommate Summer for doing such an awesome job with this pastel pink. It's honestly been something I've been wanting to try for a long time, and then this lighting, it looks so perfect. So guys, if you ever need to get your hair dyed or cut, unprofessionally. But guys, right now I've got a couple of video edits that are finishing up in the timeline, but I realized that now that I'm in a house where I can creatively collaborate with my roommates and get their feedback and opinions on my edits, it's been really annoying just having them all bunch up around my monitor. So a vision that I've been wanting to build out in the studio for quite some time is, drum roll please. So today we are going to be mounting this TV right above my monitor. That way I can just connect it straight to my computer and not only use it as a secondary display while I'm editing, but also just have a TV where I can have stuff playing in the background. And honestly, I think it's really gonna be the final piece to the studio. Unfortunately, our handyman friend Chad is not available today. So we have one guy and a house full of girls to get this TV up. Can we do it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Girl power. I'll throw that little poster in. All right, so first up on Amazon, we had to buy this Visa wall mount. It basically looks like this, but it also has an articulating arm. That way I can angle it to any part of the office and it just gives me a lot more flexibility with the TV. All right, so a little quick tip if any of you are trying to mount a TV. From my experiences, basically most TVs have something known as a Visa mount. And depending on the specific size and weight of your TV, you have different mounting options available. So on the back of your TV, just make sure you measure out how far those holes are and that the mount will fit properly. But I will also have a link in my description to the ones I picked up on Amazon. But luckily it's gonna get the perfect fit. So let's get started. As you guys see, the mount fits perfectly on the TV. Now we just gotta get it drilled in. This is heavy. All right, so ideally the TV is gonna be mounted directly above the monitor. That way I can just connect it via HDMI straight to my computer. However, the problem is that we need to find a stud in the wall to make sure that it's properly mounted and that we're not having a TV collapse up in here. But luckily with our stud finder, we're gonna be able to find the stud in the wall. She didn't know I was coming either. Wow, our trusty handyman is here right when I needed him. I was like, I do not know if I'm gonna find these studs. All right, in order to get this TV mounted, we're gonna need a couple of tools, but luckily in my tool chest, I've dedicated an entire drawer to pretty much any tool we're gonna need for our projects, but this shit is immaculate. mount is securely fastened to the wall so I know for sure that it's not going to fall. It's gone directly into the stud. Now let's just get this TV up here. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if the TV turns on. Oh, we had missed this. All right, we have figured it out. Two perfect monitor displays. Let's get this set up. Yo, this is crazy. It's actually a nice mirror. Oh! Alright folks, so it took me some time to troubleshoot why I was getting some lag playback from the TV. But after testing out a couple of cables, I figured out the best solution was to use a USB-C adapter. Any dongle you use for your MacBook Pro that has an HDMI input should work. And then plug that directly into one of the USB-C ports on the back of the Mac Studio. And then plug the other HDMI into the TV. And that way your central desktop just considers that TV a secondary monitor. And you're not going to have any laggy playback due to screen mirroring. However, I've also installed another Apple TV. That way I can still have TV shows and movies streaming in the background. But having the secondary monitor mounted right above my desk is going to be so essential for me to get critiques and feedbacks from my friends. And it really just puts the finishing touches to the space. But until I figure out what project I'm going to do next, don't forget to hit that like button guys subscribe if you're new around the channel guys we are just getting started with this channel but i'm very excited about where we're about to go turn on your post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace now for this part of the video we've got some voiceovers but one of my favorite additions to the setup has definitely been hanging up my photographs we got a pretty exciting project releasing soon but these were a couple of test prints we wanted to hang around the house the first one was taken at the vatican city of the sistine chapel and framed it looks absolutely gorgeous <music> Then we installed another shelf above the pegboards and tool chest for more decorative pieces and it definitely brings the entire space together. And 
finally, we've got a surprise for my roommate, Summer. I wanted our entire office to have standing desks, and this one right here is from Autonomous. They're actually the same company that sent over my main curved desk, but they sent another one over, so let's get it set up. <laughs> And of course, we wanted a splash of color in the studio, so this teal wood top is perfect. Overall, building the desk didn't take too long, and now it's time to get her desk ready. about this desk is that it has a cable pass through built into the desk so you still have a clean looking setup and they even have four programmable modes you can set which is perfect to keep you active while working if you guys are interested to pick up a desk for your setup head to the link in my description but now it's time to surprise summer Really? <laughs> 